Helmand Province, Afghanistan, Spring 2013. On patrol, a rifle squad of United States Marines comes under attack from a Taliban machine gun stationed atop a nearby building. Pinned down, the Marines are sitting ducks. Flying nearby, a Marine KC-130, call sign Filth-02, receives a report that troops are in contact, the situation urgent. Immediately, the pilot, 26-year-old Marine Captain Katie Higgins, turns towards the battle. A relatively junior pilot, this is her first direct action with the enemy. Sounds of gunfire and explosions fill her radio as she descends through heavy cloud cover. Every second counts as Captain Higgins and her crew identifies the enemy position and prepares to make the run-in. Her heart pounding, she could not fail. Lining up her target, the KC-130 fires two Hellfire missiles, landing a direct hit and eliminating the enemy position, saving the Marines. The following spring, now stationed in Spain, Captain Higgins was approached by an enlisted Marine asking if she'd flown Filth-02 in Afghanistan. He was among the squad of Marines under attack that day and had recognized her voice from the radio. He told Captain Higgins that she had saved his life and the lives of his fellow Marines. It was the proudest moment of her Marine Corps career. A third-generation military aviator, Katie was born to fly. Both grandfathers flew for the Army in World War II, while their father was an F-18 fighter pilot in the Navy. A graduate of the Naval Academy, Katie decided on the Marine Corps, becoming one of the few female Marine aviators to fly combat missions in Afghanistan. After deployments to Afghanistan and Africa, and with more than 400 combat hours, Major Katie Higgins was selected to fly with the famed Blue Angels in 2015. Created in 1946 to help with recruitment, the Navy's elite aerial demonstration team has seen 250 pilots perform through its history, all of them men. On March 14, 2015, at the controls of the Blue Angels C-130 Hercules, nicknamed Fat Albert, Captain Katie Higgins became the first female pilot to perform with the Blue Angels. For two years, she wore the famous blue flight suit performing at air shows across the country. Now married to fellow Blue Angels pilot Major Dusty Cook, Major Katie Higgins Cook never sought to break any barriers only to be a pilot in the Marines. But in taking to the skies to fly in front of thousands of men, women, boys, and girls, Major Cook still shattered a glass ceiling, then kept flying higher. 